What's up guys? My name is Moses Sabai and welcome to another painting episode. So this video is not much of a tutorial. I'll just be painting this beautiful painting of a lady um, I, that I saw on Pinterest and loved her skin tone and so I decided why not give it a try. So without further ado, as, you, as you've seen, um, I started off with the outlines with a pencil or a mechanical pencil, another option one can use, um, just to get the proportions right, which can be a hectic task. So basically, um, this is the underpainting, just to establish the values and the shapes of the painting. So unlike painting, I mean oil painting, I don't have to wait for it to dry. I'll just carry on non-stop since it dries off um, during the painting process. So basically unlike drawing, um, painting is more of building layers and layers until you arrive to the final part. So um, you you can do like three layers or two layers or four layers, it just depends with you um, or what kind of a painting it is. Sometimes I think like if it's a complex painting, it requires a lot of a lot of um, layers. So for the shadows I used burnt amber and burnt sienna and touch of and some touch of orange. Then for the mid-tones. I used yellow ochre, touch of bansiana and some orange. Then for the highlights, I used um, white of course, touch of yellow ochre and bansiana. So for the shadows, if you want to make it um, a bit darker or let's say increase the value of the shadows. You can add blue to burnt cyan, burnt amber I mean. So For this painting, um, if you noticed, I put into use the orange colors because I noticed majority of black, let's light skin tone, if I may say, like the light ones have have this orange color that defines this is a black person, but a light, a light one, a light skin tone like black people are not like black 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 like like charcoal or or soot or even darkness or when painting you don't just take pure black and paint with it no as a as a matter of fact even the darkest black skin tones you're not supposed to use like color black like mass black I personally feel like um, it makes the painting look flat and not alive but you can incorporate the cool colors like blues, the purples to define the shadows. In short, um, put color black away from your palette when you are painting. In fact, I'm going to make a video about that very soon whereby I'll be demonstrating um, how you put or how you use the the let's say the cool colors or or just how to paint the darkest people like the dark skin tone so for the hijab it wasn't hard to paint it it didn't require a lot of work compared to the other part of the painting So to me painting is like building a house, you should have that idea of the house you want 
if it is a mansion or just a simple hut. Same as painting, you should have that idea of what you want to paint or something that inspires you. Now, we already have the idea of what we want. We develop it on paper and that's where the blueprint or the plan comes in. Same as painting, we develop and refine our ideas through sketches or thumbnails. Then we now start building our house by layering down the foundation of the building. Same as painting, we execute our plan by outlining or by outlining, outlining it on canvas and putting up the undercoat. Just to establish the values and shapes of the painting as I said earlier. Then we start building our house by putting bricks by bricks. Same as painting, we start building the painting by layering the layers layers by layers. Perhaps the most crucial part of this painting process to me is the layering of the skin tones and getting it right. It wasn't an easy, as easy as I thought since I was using acrylics and not oils. And you understand how acrylics is a disappointment when it comes to drying like quicksand. We now have the building and um, now we are ready to refine it like plastering the walls and putting up the windows the windows and the doors. Same as painting. We now finish it by putting the details. So this video is not like the absolute way of painting such kind of paintings or portraits, but I saw why not share it with you guys since I saw it came out well. Although I made some few mistakes like I understand I blended I blended it too much but this is acrylics. I even went on to try on oil on oil brushes but it couldn't help. But at least I gave it a shot. There are so many videos out there that explain how to paint generally in a clear and precise way. So I forgot to list down the materials I used, but um, for this painting, I used Fevicryl acrylic paint. Um, you can use any, so long as it's good quality. Um, so for the colors, 
I used titanium white, primary yellow, cadmium red, and dark ultramarine blue. And for the brushes, I, I use the synthetic hair brushes. So to make the lips look glossy and detailed, I applied a titanium white. Well, there you have it. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see even more in-depth tutorials, make sure you subscribe to my channel. See you soon.